Hi everyone. Today we are going to talk about what Reddit developer think about. What's a good way to make money on the side with programming? Want to know how to become a developer without a degree? Check the description below. Find local businesses in your area with shitty websites and offer to work on this for $20 an hour plus free shit from their stores. Even if they offer you free shit, don't do the work just for free shit. The last thing you want is shit you don't need and having to sell it to get what they cold just paid you in the first place. This will especially be a good idea for like cell phone repair shops, laptop repair shops. You can get decent hourly plus free electronics you'd actually use, your favorite restaurants, favorite breweries, maybe a road bike store or used camera store, things like that. Also hit up non-profits that have income rotation like no kill but popular animal shelters. Places like that have a need for a decent website with JavaScript, a dynamic web portal for them to update content and a standardized article page that they can use for showing details to users, like new dog arrivals, new product releases that their staff can easily push info in and have show up on the site. Offer to do things like Google Analytics dashboard so they can see what gives them more or less traffic. I want to add here, if you venture into the world of building websites for people you know, be careful. Try to convince them to split the payment with some upfront. It always turns into, yeah, relax dude, I'm going to pay you. Get a job with a small web dev shop that lets you do odd jobs. Just make sure you use a contract which will hold up in small claims court. Had to threaten someone with it because their friend said that the website I made for them was just a WordPress template taken from the internet. That friend didn't actually check where my hours went and that the WP setup and template was less than one hour invoiced and the rest was site customization. Not to mention that the process with using templates and WP was explained in the contract and that this was explicitly not web design but web development and that I would adapt an existing site of their choosing to their needs. Damn, I get frustrated just writing this. I got the money at the end after doing some alterations and using a day to document what I'd worked on in preparation for the small claims court. We never went there but the detailed timesheets I had helped. In addition, make sure you communicate everything and that you keep your hours updated. Sort of trendy right now are web games on websites where the top level domain is IO instead of like com, net etc. Games like agar.io have tapped into this trend and this is what that guy is referring to, making web games hosted on similarly named sites. He is using IOs, but net is at all, just as a distribution platform. You'll need some web development skills to do something similar. I don't know much about web dev myself, so I can't really point you in the right direction, but I'm sure other redditors can help, or there may be leak as in the sidebar slash wiki. I'm currently finishing up my degree, one year to go. I've made money throughout university from on-site consulting, software and hardware setup, tutoring, part-time remote software gigs, Flexible hours, mostly web slash dev. I found these opportunities via Craigslist, made posts too, and eventually word of mouth. I did try to make money off ads on software slash games, but was unsuccessful, likely tried in first year, haven't given it another shot. My remote gigs have been entirely from word of mouth, after building up a local network of clients, all stemming from friends in Craigslist, where I grew up. It took a few years to get to this point though. I'd just recommend looking at talking to small businesses locally about what you can offer them and scouring Craigslist and creating your own posts and seeing where that goes. I found it difficult to be competitive with devs on Upwork. This is just my experience in North America though. I started off getting calls from Craigslist postings, which turned into getting contacted via word of mouth. I set up an LLC and build through it hourly wherever I went. I typically drove to both individuals and small businesses for anything from setting up routers to getting contracts for small websites to teaching someone how to use iPhoto. Typically charged dollar sign 30 dash 40 slash hours. I stopped the above now in favor of fully remote work paying dollar sign 30 plus an hour for 
Mostly I Ostev. Early on I did get pulled into WordPress projects, but most were small, custom sites. For the iostev, my first contract ever involved making a 2D game for someone in sprite kit for $1000 from a friend locally, he had seen me make another game on my own, thought it was cool, so he wanted to pay me to develop his idea. I ended up putting in close to 60 hours, but I didn't mind it, because it was my first real iOS application, and it was a blast. From then on I have been contracted elsewhere, 5-10 person startups, for more typical apps, no games, as a supporting iOS dev, working part time. These projects are definitely much larger in scope now, and require at least a couple of devs. Don't worry, happy to share my experience. I know ATM you're a college student, so I'm not sure that you're working for any kind of tech or consulting company. One piece of advice is to be sure of your company's policy on outside work. I've worked for consulting companies where it's written in the contract that they own your work, whether in or out of the office. If you don't have some agreement in place where they know you're doing side work and approve it, they will either have ownership of your work or dismiss you for some kind of conflict of interest. Google Freelancing Software Development Plenty of opportunities to make money, but your skills need to be decently competitive. These are dominated by third world. Countries that offer very cheap labor, which makes it almost impossible for a recent grad, or anyone for that matter, to get anything that resembles decent money, unless you are very highly skilled. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this content, please give us a thumbs up, and also subscribe to the channel. See you in the next video.